What is going on guys? My name is Pawn. I hope you guys are all having a great day and or night or whatever time you are watching this video. But guys, I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy to be back on Call of Duty. A new Call of Duty. I feel like I haven't played like a good new COD in three years because that's exactly right. I haven't played one since Black Ops 3. But guys, this is my first Black Ops 4 beta gameplay. And this gameplay, you're going to be seeing me using for like around half the gameplay, the ICR right here, which kind of melts. Uh, it's pretty good. Most of the guns are good. I've, I'm only like a level 6 or 7. I only put like an hour and a half into the game. So I don't have too much experience with all the guns and what the best attachments are. But I will get to that uh, the more I play. And then I'll get videos out on those. But I also use the uh, what is it called the MX9 which is the new CUDA to me it feels just like the CUDA it has a very similar uh, shot noise uh, when you fire the weapon and the reload sounds exactly like the CUDA uh, so I'm calling it the new CUDA the MX9 uh, the ICR I don't know I think it, it feels a little bit better than the one in Black Ops 3 in my opinion I think it's a little bit stronger the more I play this game the more I will be able to tell you guys which guns are the best maybe do some best class setups just for the beta I don't know we'll see but I can say if you liked Black Ops 3 you're going to like Black Ops 4 uh, it's basically Black Ops 3 same movement without the extra jumping and stuff like that uh, and the health stim you got to get used to that is just pretty much whenever you get shot you got to immediately hit l1 to uh, heal up and as you can see there's a little health aid on the bottom left middle you can see that it's a little plus sign that means you are ready to use your uh, health and how do i feel about it i, I don't really care um it's just another thing you got to get used to. It's not really that hard to get used to. It's not game changing. It doesn't make me like the game less or like it anymore. It's just kind of there. It's just, okay, whatever. It's just kind of a way that they're changing up Call of Duty in a way we haven't seen before. But I like this ICR. It melts. I can't wait to get some more attachments on it uh, and just get a feel for every single gun in the game. It's just exciting to play a new COD. And the fact that it feels like Black Ops 3 has a fail a drop shot right there. You can sort of drop shot, but it's kind of tricky. I don't know, but right here I switched to the MX-9 because I'm like, alright, this is kind of a close quarters map, so let me pull this out. I got a red dot sight on it. I, I feel like you don't need the red dot sight on it, but I just put it on anyways because I didn't have anything else. So, as you can see, it kind of sounds like the CUDA and kind of reloads like the CUDA, and I fucking love that, man. It just, oh, just brings me back, just gets my going, just gets my juices flowing, you know what I mean? And guys, I'm going to be straight up honest with you that if you do get a beta code, if you have one, or when you do get yours and you download this and you play this beta the first time, and you have not played Call of Duty in months, like the last time I played Call of Duty before this beta was five months ago. I shit you not, five months ago was the last time I touched Black Ops 3 and I played for like not even an hour. I played like three matches, so that's not even saying much. And you're gonna get you're gonna get your schmock peppered, you know, glisten. You know what I mean? You're gonna you're, you're, you're gonna get your biscuits cooked, you're gonna get you're gonna get well done on a on a medium rare steak. You're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get cooked a little. At least I did. Uh, it's it's definitely weird to get used to at first but like once you get going like you don't stop you just got to get in that groove you got to focus up just get that feel for that call of duty again and, and it'll just come together and uh oh yo i got a uh what is it i got a i got one of those sploder things uh what's it called war machine that thing was straight up butt cheeks in uh, black ops 3 i thought uh because it didn't explode on impact it just bounced on three little pellets but i think i get a triple kill with it right here I think so, and it becomes the the game ending highlight. So I'm basically a G, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, can we pull this out? Can we pull it out? Well, there we go. Look at this. I bounce it. I'm like, all right, nothing. All right, I got some hit markers. I'm like, okay, there's. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck? This thing actually blows ass, just like it did in Black Ops. Then I'm like, holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, there it is. That's a whole lot of shit going on right here. And right now I got a UAV. I got some other shit. And I'm just like, holy. You know? And then right here I knew I was going to die. I was laying down right there. I'm like, there's going to be a guy to my right. And as soon as I get up, he's going to lick my schmock pepper. So, basically, I'm having fun though with it. Uh, the last two betas, if you want to go back to Infinite Warfare and you want to go back to Call of Duty World War II. Um, when I played them, I thought they were just fun. Just not even capital F-U-N. It was just all lowercase fun, just fun with a period after it. That that's that's what it was to me. It 
it just didn't have that feel. Like, when I watched the trailer for Black Ops 4, like, I got some chills. I'm like, oh, shit, this is gonna bring me back. This is gonna bring me back. I didn't get those with Infinite Warfare and World War II. Okay, so if, if, if my body's telling me, if my body's ready, then y you know it's legitimate. And I, that's how I feel about this beta. Like, I want to just keep playing it. I know I want to grind it. And I just can't say I felt those with, um with everything else going on. And just look at me making plays, baby. We're just throwing nades. We're gunning people down, you know. Oh, man. It just feels good to be back. And look at this poor soul walking out. Hit him with the CUDA. Ooh. Just feels so good, man. Uh, so you got to definitely get on this beta and try it out. I think there's going to be a couple weekends of it. We got this weekend that ends Monday, I believe, August 6th at uh, 1 o'clock. And then it'll come back on the weekend again for PS4 and for Xbox users. And then in like another month or so, then we have the blackout. And guys, if you do have the beta downloaded to your system, do not delete it after the beta ends because they will eventually take that and turn that into... Um, and turn that into the blackout beta so do not delete that off your system because that is very important but aside from all that right now i'm not gonna go into what i like about the beta uh what's wrong with the beta what could be tweaked what they need to look forward to or what they need to adjust uh going into the full version when it comes out october 12th i'm not gonna get all into that right now i gotta play it for a lot of hours to really really form an opinion i don't want to be one of those people and neither should you that gets on after one game and oh that fucking sucks throw it at. oh fuck man like fuck like just don't be one of those people like I, everybody tends to get like that i get like that at times but you just got to remind yourself like yeah it's a beta give it a chance you know what i mean so when the beta blows over i will give my opinions on it and right here hold on hold on hold on we gotta pause be sure to like this video guys don't forget and subscribe if you're new look at it look at the cute little girl uh there she goes pop ready heels up and then boom boom oh Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in another Black Ops 4 beta video. Peace!